it's and almost as if technology is hidden away from them, Marius. It's like people don't want to know that they don't want them to see the technology. Nico, that's actually a hundred percent true. Mm. Because you know, uh, remember during the call, I made a comment and I said, I grew up in orphanage in South Africa. I was born there, went to school, I was in the orphanage, and when I was little, I only had one pair of pants and three t shirts. And I remember the one T-shirt was a yellow one with a little bit of a hole in it, and it was actually burned by the sun, like faded. We didn't have school shoes at that time, you know, because you're orphan. They they treat you like a second-class citizen at that time. And you wouldn't believe that was only a few years ago. I'm 54 now, and this was 45 years ago. It's unbelievable if you think about it. So then when I went to school, what would happen is they would take you. You walk in last. You can't even walk in first into the class. So you walk in last. And then what happens is you have to go and sit in the back of the class on these wooden floors with a lot of dust. And that's where you have to sit with yeah. your back against the wall. And there's like three, four, five kids sitting there. And that's where you are. So then I made the comment, Wall Street is used to sitting on the benches and the poor people is used to sitting on the back of the wall. But now mm -hmm. what they are doing with Africa, and I want people here to understand, guys, that if you're from Africa, you have to stand up and match yourself up against Wall Street. You know, like a bully. Because these bullies in Wall Street, they don't want you to know the truth about finances. And they don't no. want you to know anything about cryptocurrencies. So imagine this is what they do. Wall Street walks in the classroom. They sit on these nice benches. But they take you, Africa, and they put you back at the wall. And they tell you, hey, shut up. You know, you don't need to know this info. We will take your money and we will trade the money for you. You just give us your money. And Nico, what I said there what resonated with so many people. I got so many messages yeah. here. They did. Yeah. They couldn't believe the eyes, actually, what you showed them. They couldn't believe it, what they saw. Yeah. Now, what I'm saying is, hey. Let's kick Wall Street back to the wall. Let them sit there. We climb on the bench and we learn everything we can about cryptos. You learn DeFi. You learn how to create your own bank. Because remember, guys, I'm telling you here now, the poorest people on this call could become the richest people in the world.